Okay, today we're going to look at Flipboard. Flipboard is the second app in, in the top row. Um, it has the big F in the red square. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that. And when I first click on Flipboard for the first time, I need to get started. So I'm going to hit the Get Started button. And then you have to pick five topics that interest you. So I'm going to warn you that there are so many topics that you can choose from. Um, think about your school. Think about what you teach. Think about your own interests, um, maybe what your students are interested in, but just go ahead and you're going to tap at least five. So I'm going to go with sports, I'm going to go with technology, and you can just keep scrolling down. I see teaching, so I'm going to leave that. Olympics is going to be fun to follow. Let's see, what else can I do? Running, so I, I enjoy running. For my son, game game consoles, fitness. So I've chose five, but I can keep going and looking. Wearable tech, definitely baseball, virtual reality, Major League Baseball, and for Aiden, Xbox. So in the top right hand corner, once I have at least five topics, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. So now it's going to ask me to sign up and I can sign up with my Google account, with my Facebook account, or my Twitter account. And I have an account already, so I'm going to sign in at this time. For you, you're going to go ahead and you're going to sign up for an account. And now here we are in Flipboard. And what's really great about those stories that we talked about or I, I clicked on, um, I can go ahead and if I look at tracking devices, I can click on the tracking devices and now it's going to look all over the internet for all different types of stories that deal with tracking devices. How to protect your fitness tracker and smartphone from hackers, um, vitamins, awesome or useless, Falling short on security, revealing new report. So I can go through and I can keep looking. Pokemon Go plus Bluetooth tracker lets you find out more pocket monsters without starting your blank. I'm going to click on the Pokemon Go just because. And now this is going to open up the Pokemon story. And I can go ahead and let's go back here, sorry. Here it is. So it's loading the story from the Washington Post from July 15th at 12 o'clock. And this is a Pokemon story um, from this. And just like a book, I can turn the pages and I can look to see what's going on with this. Um, down in the right-hand corner, I have a couple of options. I can share this article with that action button. Um, I can do all those different things. So I also have this button here. Um, more like this, less like this, mute the site, report it. Um, I could have a conversation with folks and type my comment down here about something that maybe uh, I see going on with Pokemon. I could favorite this or like it. And then this is where we're going to be able to add it to a um, magazine that we're going to create with different things that we think might help each other. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and I can, this is the one we're looking at. And I can save that and I can hit add and there I have it. If I want to go back, I can come back here and I can go back to all my um, interests. And maybe I'm going to hit Major League Baseball at this time and I'm going to look at the, the different headlines that come through. So there's my Major League Baseball updates. So I can check everything I want to check um, all in one spot, which is great. So now in the top right hand corner, there's that ribbon. So if I click on this ribbon here, um, what I can also do is I can look at my profile. So I can look at my magazines. I can look at my articles that I have. So that's all there. Click that ribbon again. Um, the different things that I'm following, remember that first um, screen where you had to pick a dump, bunch of different things, topics. Um, these are the ones that I'm following. 
So I can edit this and I can delete one if I wanted to. So let's just say I want to delete game consoles. I should be able to click that X, there we go, and remove that. And now I'm no longer following that anymore. Um, so you can also follow people on here. There are my topics. And I can hit the find more topics if I want to find more. Notice that looks familiar to you. And then this is pretty neat where you have accounts. So Twitter, I've, I've linked my Twitter account to here um, so that all of my tweets come through here. So that is really, really powerful because now I don't have to go to Twitter anymore. I can pull all of my tweets in here and you can see my tweets. Let's see if I can find them. Oh, there it is. Here's my Twitter right here. I click on my Twitter and now these are the things Brad, um, Jeff Bradbury tweeted something five minutes ago. And here's all my tweets on the right hand side. So instead of having to go to Twitter and then going back to Facebook and whatnot, I can go all here. So I can actually add if I wanted to. Um, if I had, if I wanted to, I could add my Facebook account so that I could put all my Facebook stuff in here as well. So I wouldn't have to go to Facebook, Twitter, and Flipboard. Um, if you have a Google Plus account, you could sign in for that. If you have a LinkedIn account, you could sign in for that as well. So Flipboard is really, really a great tool that you can use with students um, because now what you can do is you can search. And if I search for, let's see, um, planets, Go solar system. This is one topic I, I teach in fifth grade, taught in fifth grade. Um, so here's different articles that I could share with my students about different real life topics that's going on in our solar system right now. So really, really powerful, um, wonderful app that you can use to pull in not only news articles, but also your social media accounts as well. So take a look at Flipboard and we're